All right, this is kind of part two of the walls by face organic shapes video. Um, I did want to just show one more thing before uh, I'm completely done with this topic. And uh, that is, if you have your mask that you already created, uh, and I'll put a link to the first video, but I, if I hit edit in place to go back in and edit my mask, um, you do have the option of, um, there's this divide surface option. If I click that, what it's going to do is literally divide my surface into lots of different pieces. And uh, there are all sorts of different patterns you can pick here. Now, uh, if I go into insert and load, if I go into curtain panel by pattern, there are all sorts of different curtain panels here. Um, so depending on what pattern you're using, you'd probably want to load one or several of these in. So if I, um, if I wanted to, I could change this pattern to, for instance, I've loaded in already these um, triangle surfaces. I've got a glazed and solid surface. So if I click glazed here, what it's going to do is it's going to take uh, the divisions that I've specified and it's going to infill this wall uh, with panels. So here it's a 12 by 12 grid. Um, and so on top of the mass, we've got actual physical geometries here, panels. And so uh, change an individual panel from glazed, for instance, glazed to solid, if I wanted to. Uh, the other thing I can do with this is click on the entire mass again, and I can change the number of the U grids. As you can see here, are the horizontal grids and the V grids are the vertical grids. So I can multiply this by two. And um, it might do some funky things with the edges. I will warn you of that. Um, the, the math on these isn't really great the way these are done, but oh, looks pretty nice. Um, so I say finish on this and I actually turn my masses off. Um, I can show my mass. I turn it on and off. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is class. It's here to stay. So you have um, you have some more options just from what from what Revit has in terms of uh, what the patterns are, and you can load different pattern types and kind of work with something that's a little bit uh, more realistic to what you're using. A triangulated surface might make a lot of sense for uh, something of this shape. Uh, so it's something to kind of consider. Now again, there aren't any mullions here, but uh, there would be a, a lot of discussion about exactly how you would create this. So that's uh, something to think about. Again, all you have to do is hit insert, load family, curtain panel by pattern, pick really any of these uh, that you want to. So just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I'm interesting. And there's a, just a regular flat panel, a regular rectangular, rectangular panel. Okay, so we can go down to rectangular now. And there is the rectangular surface glaze. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, and there it is. So a little bit more realistic. Um, and of course, how you're going to uh, do mullions on this is kind of a different deal. So uh, just something else to look at.